Hello everyone, once again, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse PlayStation Airlines in the background, that is my PlayStation having a nuclear explosion. Once I woke up, I was greeted with some amazing freaking- Oh, hello there! Hello there. Jeez, we just literally walked out of an outpost and there's already a moose standing there. Let's take a shot on him real quick. Okay, we we screwed that up worse than I've ever screwed up a shot. Okay, that was just terrible. Fix was released this morning from EW at around 8.20 a.m. And we actually do have some uh, patch notes right on the Call of the Wild website that I can read to you guys. So, as for bug fixes, there's stability. They addressed a rare issue that could cause the game to crash after switching loadouts and further prevent it uh, from launching before recreating in the menu. Uh, the developers note the crash was related to specific files in the player's save game and removing them. Uh, or the entirety of the saved data would allow the game to launch again. The fix re re ret oh my god I can't read today rest of fixes of the underlying issue so that way the saved data will be use usable again. Man, they use so big words on their website. It's insane. Occasionally caused the game to crash, but we sniffed out the problem and removed it. Yeah, awesome how they said they sniffed out the problem. <laughs> I love EW. In rare circumstances, pressing continue in the main menu or changing reserves will no longer lead to the game crashing. We fixed a crash that could happen to a very small number of players when accessing the Hunt Club menu. Trust icons will now be correctly hidden after hiding the Hide POI icons option. As for progression in the game's missions, the game will no longer create a new save file on PC if a player's save data has somehow disappeared. It will now try to restore the data from backups instead of creating a brand new file. Oh, there he is right there. There he is right there. Oh, it's a female. I don't even care anymore anyways. Okay, we dropped her. Where's my- Oh, snap! There's a bunch of them! Oh, snap! Just shot a second one in the time I was looking for a big one, but... I guess beggars can't be choosers. Alright, as for gameplay, the in-game DLC store will now work correctly. Okay, I didn't know it didn't work correctly to begin with, but I guess for it didn't work correctly. I always bought it from the PlayStation Store anyways. I don't see why anyone would buy it from the in-game store, but it still is a cool feature for EW to add and make the Call of the Wild even better. Alright guys, if you've encountered that we have not mentioned above, make sure to check out our updated known issues list and, f and first, and then share it with us on my Discord server, which is in the description, the It's Team Discord server. If you guys want to go, if you guys have any bugs or anything, and if you guys want to submit it into a smaller server to uh, have your uh, bug well known, like, m well recognized easier, I guess. Oh, what was that running? Oh, those are just tucks. Okay. Well, yeah, guys, if you guys want to get your uh, bug, whatever it is that you're having a problem with, well noticed easily, submit it in my Discord server just in main chat room, and I will be sure to let EW know for you because I'm in partnership with EW, so if you guys have any problems with the game, feel free to let me know, and I will let them know ASAP. But I just wanted to let you guys know everything from EW's extremely confusing patch notes from just right from their website. I know I'm not blaming anything on EW. They make an awesome game, but uh, whoo, they're they oh my gosh, the words they use are just so mongolous that I need to like translate them through Google into like smaller words to figure out what they mean. But guys, let's roll the outro. The only thing that I am really good at talking about besides the intro. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys do it all on there. Smash the like button and subscribe. It is much appreciated and it does help out the YouTube algorithms. While you're down there, make sure you guys do join the Discord server. It is free to join and you can join the official esports team for free today. Be our 5,000th member. You guys know you can do it. We'll see you guys in the next video.